Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to get VertGL GPU pass-through working inside of Proxmox 8 on a Linux VM. VertGL GPU pass-through technology is a way of using the virtual GL technology to pass through to your system's integrated graphics card or discrete graphics card that's already been attached to your Proxmox system and not pass through to a VM with traditional PCI pass through techniques. Instead, what we do is virtually create an independent graphics card that's individually passed through to the VM and the VM is then able to use part of that graphics card's 3D graphics to do graphics acceleration and other type of like rendering work or remote rendering work. It also somewhat works for gaming, but it wasn't initially designed for gaming. At this point, let's go ahead and take a look at a quote unquote live video of me getting this set up on my Proxmox system and what it took to get it working. So today we're going to be looking at a different virtualization technology. And you can see that I've tried to apply it here already to the Parrot Home VM that we set up in a different video. And what we're getting is an error message that we need a package installed. Now what this package is, is it's basically a way that Proxmox or a Linux operating system can communicate through APIs with OpenGL. So it allows the basically the VM to communicate in a virtual sense with the host operating system using OpenGL. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and try installing this package and see if we can get this all running. Now I'm doing this live, obviously, because I can't really test this beforehand. So bear with me, let's see what we can get working. The first thing I'm going to do now that we know the package we need to install is close out this window and I'm gonna select my server here and I'm going to go up to shell and with our shell open I'm going to start out by just updating repositories because it's generally good practice and I'm going to do so with an apt update and as expected everything was up to date because I pretty much keep this system updated most of the time. Now I'm going to try to execute an apt install command here which is supposedly for that package. So I'm basically copying the package that Proxmox wants me to install and I'm putting it in front of apt install. Let's see what happens. So it looks like we found the package. It looks like there's a few other things that need to be installed for it. So we'll answer yes and we'll press enter. So with that done, we can go ahead and close back out of our console window. And we're looking back at our Proxmox web interface. Now let's select our Parrot Home that we've already gone ahead and click display on the display and edit and selected the VertGL GPU. And let's see if we can start it and see what happens this time when we do start it. So we again got an error message that showed up here and the error message is still telling us that we have a missing package, which looks to be like it might be this package. So let's go ahead and see if we can install this particular package as well. So let's head back to our console window now. Let's try installing that package again with an app install command like so here. And we again did find that package. We're gonna answer Y and enter. And we supposedly can use the dpkg-l command to verify this installation. So let's go ahead and do that now. And it does look like we have version 1.6 installed on this system. So once again, let's head back to that web interface and see what happens. 
So we're going to start the VM again. And it looks like the VM did start successfully this time. It says task OK. So we can open our console. We get our spice. We're going to cancel that because we're here on a Mac. Um, spice has definitely got better performance, but unfortunately, I'm here on a Mac and I don't have Spice Cap. I could use Homebrew to compile some capability, but I'm not feeling up to that right now on this system. All right, so we do have graphics accelerating up and running and we weren't able to get a console display using no VNC and we seem to be getting all right performance at the moment. I'm getting absolutely no mouse log lagging here at all. I have been having a hard time getting Steam running, although we are trying to get it running here. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. Yeah, we're getting some um, package out of date. And when we actually run through this, uh, we end up getting some error message about 32 bits. Stuff not installed usually. So let's see what happens. Uh, I usually have it by now. Yeah, here's the error message that we get. So we're unable to test Steam at this time. I've yet to actually figure this problem out. But if we come up to our console, I believe there's a way we can actually take and look and see if uh, we have all of our GPU drivers installed. And it's going to be LSPCI. And you can see that we have uh, Vert.io installed here, which is actually the same graphics controller that we see passed through if we use the Vert.io feature, which is kind of interesting. We do seem to have graphics acceleration working here. Parrot's known for not requiring it, but Proxmox almost always gives us a laggy pointer in no VNC if we don't have it enabled. So we know that to some form it's working. I haven't really done much benchmarking I plan to bring that here to you, maybe in a later video, maybe in this video. We'll see where we're at. Um, but we did indeed get, appear to have gotten VertGL GPU pass-through working on a Linux system. 